My name is Arrow. I'm a daily writer. I'm a silent wolf. That means I stand on the sidelines and do nothing but watch, listen, study, and then activate. I call it the daily mess. It's a chronological walk through an everyday world. Yes, it's still my morning writing. As a receiver of thoughts and ideas, we as people tend to throw it to the side and deal with it later. Now, when a subject arrives inside me, I dig in. It's still keeping a journal. By doing the research, the pictures become clearer. This is the Daily Mess. Observation number five. My most recent injury has kept me from my normal expectations for nearly two weeks. Being one who is outrageously active and always on the go, the mental issues instantly mounted because I don't like to tell myself, no, 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 no. I had to rearrange my entire recording studio because I could no longer work from my left side. A total game changer because I instantly thought of construction workers who have to instantly shift sides. What about doctors, fast food restaurant employees, and others? We all have a stronger side. When you no longer have access to it, mentally, you're going to move through multiple emotions. Not in a conceited or violated way, but your body is having to readjust. No questions asked. The experts say there's no need to even out the workload. You'll always have a weaker side. If injured, it's going to take a little time to match things up. The reason why we have a weak side is because we spend a lot of time in what they call unbalanced posture. Look at the way you sit. Look at the way you lean on things when you are working. Unilateral exercises can help in so many ways, but it doesn't give you a guarantee. Just be prepared for all forms of change. Taking note of which side is the one you favor and which side is the weaker side. And when you have to suddenly shift, don't let it become a mental issue. Hey, coming up next, we all deal with age in so many different ways, from facelifts to working out to just maybe just sitting around saying, all right, I'm old. But what is the truest, best way to make your way through age? Hey, thanks for making it back to The Daily Mess. Observation number six. I know my truth. A huge part of it is knowing my true age. Now, openly, I admit, there seems to be an increase in incidents because I'm still pushing myself beyond the average expectation. A close friend recently stood with me and thought he was teaching me something. He says, it's time to admit you're old. Now grow into it. I stopped and thought about it. I mean, I seriously thought about it. Taking a long time to search for books based on this thought of, okay, I'm old. I'm going to grow with it. I wanted a book filled with quotes based on life lessons. Because if you look in bookstores right now, oh, there is a ton of self-help books. I don't need another self-help book. As for a book of quotes, I still can't find them. But I've run across some age-related positive quotes, and I have some for you, that I hope you can plant inside your forest. Old age should be respected. Not everybody gets to do it. Aging isn't lost youth. It's a new stage of opportunity. You're only young once, but you can stay immature forever. I don't let my age define me, But the side effects can be challenging. Age doesn't really matter unless you're cheese. You don't have to stop laughing when you grow old. But you will grow old if you stop laughing. Age is based on how many years of fun you've had. We don't grow old. We grow riper. (laughs) I'm Errol. And that's the Daily Mess.